The conditions in which the so-called Russian Federation actively uses tactical aviation for long-range strikes with the help of glide bombs and the placement of even a roaming. Patriot in the front zone is becoming increasingly dangerous due to the fact that the enemy has improved strike tactics and targets key objects in front zone, raises the question of the availability of more effective means of defeat. Of course, we can mention the F-16 fighter jets, whose delivery dates to Ukraine began to shift from the first quarter of 2024 to the summer. But the mission of these fighters, to repel enemy aircraft from the front edge, depends on two factors. The first is the number of F-16s, which currently seems insufficient to provide a permanent umbrella over the territory of Ukraine. The second is their armament, as it is currently unknown what AAM-120 missiles they will be armed with. And this is important, because their efficiency depends on it. AIM-120C-8 with a range of 160 to 180 kilometers is one thing, and AIM-120 120C for with a range of 50 kilometers is quite another. Therefore, one of the options remains the search for a system that can create a much wider no-access zone. And in the current conditions it should be an anti-aircraft missile system. However, the US does not have a longer range missile than the GMT for the Patriot. But there is the standard missile 6 or SM-6, which is a modification of the RIM-174 standard ship missile from the Aegis system, developed in the 80s. The SM-6 missile was first launched in 2013 and has the ability to hit targets at a distance of up to 370 kilometers. In addition, the missile can intercept ballistic targets and attack ground targets at a distance of 460 kilometers. The main components of the SM-6 are a modified homing radar head from the AAM-120 and the ability to target even through obstacles. Although the SM-6 is designed for ship systems, the U.S. military understands its potential and is developing a terrestrial complex from it, the Typhon, which is a wheel launcher with universal mines for missile destroyers and cruisers. This becomes one of the key components of the new unit of the U.S. Army, Multi-Domain Operational Group's Multi-Domain Task Forces. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel.